Hey Aquarius, and thank you for coming to my channel. This is your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Aquarian forecast for the first couple of weeks of December. I do apologize for the delay. All right. The card that flipped in your overall general um, subject of your reading is you must love yourself first. So your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. That's what your reading is going to be based on this time. At the end, I will pull an advice card as well from Spirit. So what does Aquarius need to know in the first couple weeks of December? Okay, your first card out. Awesome. The devil in reverse. Breaking out of a situation that does not treat you with love and respect. The Queen of Swords is the next card out for you. Nice. Your last card is Justice. So um, great energy for you guys. Let's see what your partner is dealing with. Oh, I got three right away. Perfect. Your bottom of the deck is hanged man. It's time to take a pause. It's time to think things through. Look at everything um, with a different perspective, with, with an open mind, um, because you're going to find victory when you do. You're going to find the solution to your problem in time of meditation, prayer, or dream state. Um, and you're going to be successful finding the person that you truly love and who you're meant to be with. All right, let's see what your partner's got going on. All right. So their first card is the Ten of Swords. Their second card is the Seven of Cups. And their third card is the Page of Wands. So um, this message of love yourself first really uh, goes out for you and your partner. You guys are directly mirroring each other from what I see so far. And uh, so this is a Twin Flame Soulmate energy possibly. Yeah, it is. Okay, so... Um, like I said, you're dealing with the devil in reverse. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, but um, this most definitely is the message that um, you have finally figured out how to break the, the cycle. Break the chains of whatever it is that you've been dealing with. Why is the devil here for Aquarius? Let's see what it is that you're actually breaking free from. What messages do they need to know about the devil in reverse? Okay. Okay, so you could be dealing with um, with a water sign or a Virgo. Um, yeah, you're breaking free from this toxic energy. You're you're moving in a direction of smoother waters, getting out of this um, constant conflict that you've been dealing with that really just <clears throat> emotionally drained you. Um, at first you were happy. Um, there is going to be wish fulfillment and, uh, manifestation after leaving this, um, situation of the past, uh, because you did finally get out of that lack, uh, um, mentality or, you know, feeling like this is all you deserve. Um, you're realizing that you deserve more. You have to set your boundaries. You have to, um, let them know what you will and will not put up with. And when you do that, you're going to be able to manifest the relationship that you desire. Why is the Queen of Swords here in reverse? Um, you're holding back, uh, ending something or cutting away from somebody um, because you're kind of stuck in the memories, the good old days, thinking back of when things were great. And uh, you're kind of letting that <clears throat> rule, excuse me, your throat chakra is closing. Um, you're kind of letting that rule your decisions right now. Yeah. So you're, so what they're, they're not even offering you what you need, what you deserve, but you're holding back on, um, cutting away from this person or cutting out of the situation because you know, at one point in time, they did give you this, they did offer that. Um, and so you just want it to go back to the way it was when it was fair and balanced and this person devoted as much into the relationship as you did. Um, why is justice here? 
Yeah, you're you're living in the memories. This is most definitely a past life partner, a soulmate. Um, it is going to come into balance. But first, you must love yourself first. You must draw that line and, um, and have self-respect for yourself and not put up with the treatment that you have been going through. Which with the devil in reverse, I see you doing that. Um, your, your person has a ten of swords. They're feeling betrayed, backstabbed, um, because they're, um, they were at a crossroads or you were at a crossroads, one of the two with a third party and, um, this hurt them. So either you're on top or you're on bottom, one of the two, they can be vice versa, but, um, there is going to be a reason to move on and celebrate. This person, um, is really going within to choose which path they wanted to take even though there's been hurt here in the past, I do see this person um, sticking around and working on this relationship with you. Um, yeah, because you guys are breaking free of that codependent attitude towards each other. Um, oh, nice. So, oh my goodness, look at the bottom of the clarifying deck. The devil in reverse. You both had this toxic energy towards each other. You were codependent on each other for your happiness. You depended on them to make you happy. They depended on you to make them happy. And when it didn't happen, shit hit the fan. And then it was all about just, it just went toxic really fast. The two of you are not toxic. The situation you were in together was toxic. This is a twin flame. This is a soulmate connection. So you guys are going to heal from that. You're going to learn from this, the lesson that needs to be learned about self-respect, love, and um, unconditional love. But, um... But it took a few bumps in the road to get there. But they're going within. They're finding the truth within themselves. And it is going to be a reason to celebrate. I don't see a third party situation in this situation right now. Um, this is just the codependency on each other. They were very confused. Um, not about their love for you, but all the situation that was going on. Everything around, uh, surrounding the two of you. Um, yeah, because they weren't seeing the, the lesson. Now they're seeing the lesson. They know that you are their soulmate. Now they figured it out. They have to go within. They have to heal. They have to make themselves happy if they want a second chance at this. Once you stand up for yourself and you show self-respect and you set your boundaries and you stick to them and walk away if you have to, if they're not meeting those, they will realize that they got to clean their act up or they're not going to get a second chance with you. It's judgment day and it's time to come to the, um, come to the forefront and either do or don't. Um, and they're realizing this, they're seeing the, they're seeing the way it needs to be. And it's taking you to set your boundaries and have self-respect within the relationship and not let this person roll all over you before they will realize they need to shape up or ship out. Um, you are going to hear from them this, uh, if this is in separation, you are going to hear from them and they are going to let you know what they're working on, what they want out of this relationship, that they are prepared and ready to come forward. Um, very, uh, very passionately because they love you unconditionally. Um, and not only that, they're ready to work on the family. They're ready to be the person that you need them to be when you need them to be there. Um, and you are both going to learn this lesson that the universe is trying to show you needs to be learned before the two of you can come together and move forward. Um, you do have the tools to manifest this. You know the lesson now. The lesson is self-respect and setting boundaries and sticking to them and not putting up with low vibrational treatment from anybody else. You now know the lesson. Now it's time to heal from it. It's time to uh, time to put that lesson in place. And then the universe is going to help you co-create this relationship back into fruition. Because they are your wish come true. They are the one that makes you happy. And they will give you this ten of cups. But first you have to move away from this toxic um, thought pattern that you two have put each other in. This toxic situation. And come back together in a new relationship with the same people a new path, a new page, a new chapter, and this will be very successful. But um, the universe is trying to show you that before you get the second chance at this person, you must see the lesson. And the lesson is with this soulmate to, um, to stand up for yourself, to stand up for what you want and what you believe in and 
Um, and do it in a respectful way to yourself. Your advice card for the uh, first two weeks is the Diamond Dreamer, material wealth and true prosperity. So um, what this is saying is in order to bring the, the spiritual into the material, you must find balance in your own life. You must set those boundaries. You must remain in balance. You must heal. You must uh, do the right thing. You must balance out your karma. You, um, you have to be able to be in a place in your life where you can offer a balanced situation and not only that but you can um your karmic scales are in balance so that when you come into this relationship for the second go round you're not bringing any excess baggage from the past because you're already moving on from that you're healing from that and that is when this relationship will um will come into the material from dream state to the material also it is uh the angels are saying to ask your guides to remember your dreams because they are sending you messages through your dreams but you're not remembering them um i encourage you to keep a dream journal it's an amazing way to keep track of um your messages whether they mean something right now or not someday they will so all right aquarius i hope you guys have a beautiful beginning of december I will see you next time. As always, I send you love, light, and God bless.